So uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to calculate area of a segment. By definition, a segment is an area bound by an arc, which in this case we are talking about, we are going to talk about arc ABC and a chord AC. So in general, a segment is a region that is bound by an arc and a chord. Chord is a line joining any two points on the circumference of a circle. So today we want to find out how the region that has been shaded, the area of the region that has been shaded can be calculated. Now for us to calculate the area of the region shaded, which is the segment, we must first of all get the area of the sector. Area of the sector. And in this case it is better for us to define what a sector is. A sector by definition is a part of a circle, part of a circle bounded by, bounded by two radii, two radii and an arc, two radii and an arc. So in this case, as we want to find out how to calculate the area of the segment ABC uh, A, we will first of all get the area of the sector O A B C O, and then we subtract the, from it the area of the triangle O A C. So how do you get the area of a sector? Area of a sector a sector is calculated by, is obtained by, by the formula, the formula theta over 360 times pi times r squared. That one will give us the area of the sector O A B C O. Now, <clears throat> because we have said that we are also going to consider the area of triangle O A C, we also need to find out how the area of a triangle can be obtained. Now, area of a triangle, a triangle can be obtained using several formulas. But for our case here, we are going to use either, either a half base times height, which is perpendicular height. So in that case, when we are talking about a half base times height, we'll consider the code AC to be the base and height to be uh, this distance that bisect the code uh, AC into two. Or we can obtain the area of the tank by talking about a half by a by B sine of theta, where A and B are going to be the two dimension O A and O C, and theta is the included angle. So, if we look, if we consider those two arrangements, we want now to get the area of the segment O, I mean A B C A. So we'll say area of the segment, area of the segment will be equivalent to um, the area of the sector, area of sector O A B C O subtract area of triangle. O A C. So how do you get the area of uh, sector O A B C O? Now let's uh, consider the following dimension. 
Let's consider that theta is equal to 30 degrees and r radius is equal to 7 centimeters. Now, area of the sector O, A, B, C, therefore, will be equivalent to theta, which is 330 degrees, divided by 360, times pi, let's take pi to be 22 out of 7, times r, which is 7 centimeters, times r, which is also 7 centimeters, subtract area of the triangle, which is a half, multiply by a and b in this case will be the the two d and theta will be the included angle so multiply by seven by seven sine of what 30 degrees so if we do our calculations accurately then uh, the area of the sector o a b c o will be equivalent to, if you do the computation of this, we'll get 12.833 centimeters squared. Subtract the area of the triangle OAC will be equivalent to 12.25 centimeters squared. Getting the difference between these two will give you a dimension of 0 0.583 centimeters squared. Therefore, from that explanation, we can easily con uh, conclude that the area of segment A, B, C, A is equivalent to 0 0.583 centimeters squared.